Hello and welcome to another run of Chronicle Chambers comic book reviews from India. I am Seo Jabir and today we are going to be reviewing uh, Regal Publishers The Phantom number 31. Yes, uh, Regal has uh, come a long way in terms of publishing The Phantom in English. Uh, this is uh, as they reach like uh, the 31st issue now and that is a very good thing for them and also the phantom readers here in India as uh, Regal has been producing quality products so far and uh, that's a great thing also they have recently celebrated uh, their three years of publishing the phantom in English and also announced uh, that there is a new phantom comics uh, coming this uh, our way and uh, that is a very exciting news also so uh, let's uh, get started with the review uh, this uh, comics number 31 was released uh, on uh, 15th of July and then but uh, the the shipping started uh, a long if a couple of days uh, before that and my comics was shipped this one was shipped uh, in uh, July at, of t July 13th but uh, due to the postal uh, India post uh, service I got it uh, uh, very recently and thus uh, this uh, review was delayed uh, for some time but I don't think this is a very big delay but yeah Regal uh, it's not Regal's fault but the post office uh, sometimes uh, take very long as you can probably guess from this uh, nice cover by Ankit Mitra uh, the main story in this uh, book is uh, the drama of Timpani uh, a classic phantom story by Lee, uh, Lee Fok and uh, of course Sai Barry uh, and uh, yeah it's a very nice uh, cover uh, the face of the phantom kind of remind me of uh, John Boyk's style I don't know exactly why but when I first saw it uh, it kind of reminded me of uh, his style uh, so yeah it's a very nice one I like the use of circles in this it's a very good one I think so uh, this book um, along with the uh, drummer story uh, also has uh, uh, the another story called the uh, Wharf Rats uh, by Lee Falk and art by George Olson and Fred Fredericks uh, which we are getting back to later uh, uh, as you can see uh, the cover is of course always uh, laminated and that's good and we get for free with it uh, this uh, stump based on the cover and yeah uh, it looks uh, pretty good and uh, it's uh, funny that you know uh, both publishers Regal and Shakti uh, chose to uh, give away freebies uh, uh, which uh, uh, look like or are a stump so yeah, at the same time, that is uh, quite uh, ironic, I find. So yeah, that's a nice stump. Let's uh, see what's inside. Okay. The drummer of Timpani's story, printed here in color. And because it was a daily story, it was originally not colored. And this uses the colorings of uh, Ivan Peterson from Norway. And uh, as you can see, it looks uh, very much uh, great. And uh, <coughs> I believe uh, the same coloring was used uh, in the Fru 
1895 uh, number issue from 2021 and uh, yes the same coloring was used however our uh, uh, regal uh, for regal Ivan probably tweaked a little bit and it will look a little bit uh, different uh, with uh, this uh, with the regal format and paper because regal chooses to use uh, glossy paper while uh, fru issue had a kind of a stock newspaper paper so yeah for this review I thought you know, what I should do is like compare um, some publications of the same story here and uh, it's a little bit different but uh, I think uh, this will be a great comparison because uh, uh, it will give an idea about uh, how in different formats the story was printed and which one is uh, the uh, preferable one. For the comparison I have with me uh, along with the regal issue uh, this uh, uh, one from uh, this reprint of the story from Indrajal Comics uh, this is uh, Bengali Indrajal Comics number 83 uh, and if you uh, if you uh, add uh, 23 with it, you will get the English number because uh, Bengali in Rajal started from uh, the number 23 of English. So yeah, that is something. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice cover, and we'll be looking inside the issue later. And this is. Uh, I already showed uh, this is uh, a FRU 1895 that uh, printed the uh, drummer story in color by Ivan Peterson and uh, with uh, some sequels and stuff and also we have inside uh, the cover of uh, number 1166 uh, FRU uh, first complete printing under Jim Shepard and uh, We'll be looking inside later, and finally, we have uh, a Phantomet from Denmark. I believe this one is from uh, 1976, and nice number 42, with uh, a nice cover by Rolf Goss. We'll be looking inside the issue, but uh, I didn't wait to show you. Uh, this also has this nice map of uh, Bengali or Bengala. That is uh, off topic, but I wanted to show it. So yeah, yeah now I have like uh, for comparison two Indian, uh, two Indian publications and two foreign. I know there has been like more, but I wanted to uh, uh, do. Uh, f uh, or specifically uh, that came into my mind there were others like uh, the Hermes press reprint recently uh, it was daily number 18 and also uh, Rani comics and uh, some Phantasma from Brazil and uh, Spain and uh, and of course New Zealand uh, other fruits but this is uh, what I would like to compare to it okay so uh, let's get started the Regal and uh, the Fru one uh, uses uh, this four panel format, uh, four panel, four panels at, uh, at, uh, at once, so you get four panels in a row and that is the way the uh, story was printed in the newspaper and now uh, with uh, the uh, Regal and uh, of course the previous Shrew, we get the story in this uh, four. This is the original version, and Ivan Peterson uh, insisted on that. The Hermes reprint also has the four, but it's like in a landscape format like this. And for comic book purposes, uh, Regal and Shrew uh, did it with this 
it's the you know the perfect format the pure format i would say so uh i don't know now we have here it's this uh, the individual this one uh, back in the individual days uh, they had uh, they edited the stories uh, they uh, sometimes edited the panels uh, enlarged it or added some extra art to fit to the page and give it a comic book feel so this is what you see here there are three panels and you can see here you have four this panel has been dropped this panel has been dropped here this then this uh, has had to be dropped no no yes uh, again three this panel had to be dropped and every single panel is like this like they uh, need to be uh, dropped and uh, that's how it's edited and uh, yes it uh, makes it larger and uh, creates some type of comic book feel but this was the old days we now prefer the uh, we prefer you know how how the uh, story was actually printed so it's an interesting format uh, this is from the 60s i believe so 60s and probably 70s uh, not sure and then we have from the 70s this one uh, form language uh, same thing uh, they used uh, three panels a fantastic uh, reprint because you know you can see the panels compared to the original ones and actually uh, uh, see everything but with the original the colorings and everything it made it uh, some type of weird colors but it's uh, a product of the time and we don't need to talk about it As you can see, it looks nice in black and white, and a very nice reprint. But it's edited. It's not the original version. You drop panels. You do this. You probably they even added uh, some form of extra art or enlargement of panels or something like that. So yeah, it's not a pure version, but it looks uh, quite good. So so. Uh, now uh, comparing things uh, of the color first we are going to see the visual colors as you can see i already showed you that uh, this uh, coloring is quite good but it is not uh, a uh, you know, super quality some some panels really good but some panels uh, do not so that is something the full reprint uh, has uh, the colors by Ivan Pedersen and it is essentially the same color as the regal ones it looks uh, quite a bit, uh, 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 but I would say I don't uh, exactly know what to say it. But how to say it? Uh, it looks uh, quite uh, dim compared to uh, the, the 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 original. Uh, I mean, the original coloring CD because of the paper that was used. And, uh, but it still is in the uh, pure format and the colorings by I. Ivan Pedersen is always uh, nice. So we get a uh, like better and even tweaked version of this coloring here in this uh, in this uh, regal issue. As you can see, glossy faces make the colors really shine. Looks really really good no more dim colors 
all are bright, nice and bright, you know, everything looks good. This is what I actually expected when I bought the Fru shoe in terms of quality, but uh, Regal did it better, so that is uh, kudos to them, and uh, yeah, very very nice reprint the color very very nice print looks really good makes the reading very very pleasant and uh, yeah so uh, yeah very nice uh, printing by Rico uh, then we move on to the second story the Wrath Rats uh, that is uh, Wharf Rats sorry uh, Wharf Rats uh, it is a Lee Fogg story and originally illustrated by Cy Barry but uh, when Lee Fogg passed away they needed uh, uh, stories to fill the Sunday page uh, after a uh, new story with a new story you know uh, because Lee Fogg's uh, new story wasn't there so this was uh, uh, a redo of the story I can see like they have uh, done swipes of uh, cyber art and of course with their own style I actually quite like George Olsen and, uh, and Fred Fredericks work I am um, because I like uh, his work on Mandrake as well and uh, but uh, this one uh, because of it being in their like uh, late eras late time uh, in their end uh, of you know the end of their run of uh, drawing the phantom uh, this feels uh, quite uh, 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 dull at sometimes the artwork but but uh, regardless it is a very very good uh, work and uh, they also did the, uh, the story the sweep records after this story and which was uh, published in the previous issue by Regal and that is uh, now we have the story before that yeah. I appreciate the fact that you know Regal is publishing like these stories because we haven't seen them in comic book format uh, for a long time uh, since uh, the uh, publication in the newspapers or magazines so that was it uh, we have the ad and this art, uh, this uh, advertisement of their previous issue. <coughs> A lovely book uh, of uh, 40 pages and uh, very, very nice work by Regal. However, uh, I still miss the uh, the the. the single issues they did with two stories and this one has two stories and if they want to come back to the single issues that would be very much appreciated because uh, after a wait of like months and months you finally get uh, only one issue and it's uh, 40 pages and also i have seen this like brand with legal of uh, decreasing the pages one after the, uh, the other uh, because the last issue had uh, 96 pages it had two stories uh, the other one was very long that's why it needed 96 pages but uh, this one uh, they could have done another issue with it or add more stories to it like to buff it up compare the volumes you can see like this uh, this one is the latest one this is the previous one yeah, I hope like a regal uh, does uh, uh, more fantastic products like this however they need to uh, get back to uh, the, the two issue format or <coughs> buff it up you know like a big book
no the small one like this of course the price has the has uh, reflected on that and they have reasonably priced this one that is good but just uh, we need more because we are, we are getting more now you are just giving us uh, like uh, the we do need more and uh, every one of us should, would like you know if you give us uh, something more to more for the fans you know because to uh, keep our keep to 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 after the long wait i would say that's it for the review i am excited to hear that they will be releasing another comic book uh, which will, uh, which should come out uh, uh, next month hopefully and uh, until then uh, thank you for watching and happy phantom